Hey YouTube, SignFan25 here, and I am back with another snare drum tuning video. So, I made a live stream on this a while back, so if you uh, want to check it out, go ahead. It's the same drum, I'm putting a different head on it, it's an older head, just to change things up a bit. So, I took all the lugs out, and I put the new head on, put the rim in. So, I mean, go ahead, and I'm just going to... Put the bolts through all the holes. The lugs through the holes. Do that real quick. How's everybody doing today? Having a great Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday morning, rather. Right? came out with a time set video, so if you haven't seen that, you can go check that out. Um, it's a really good video, I'm stopping so. Okay, back to snare drumming here. You're going to take the lugs, first make sure the ring is even on the head, and you know, it is, so I'm just going to finger tighten. Finger tighten with uh, as tight as you can get with your fingers, and this provides some. Um, this is, you know, a neat, uh, good way of even tuning. Make sure it's about the same tightness on every side of the drum. It makes it sound better too, honestly. Okay. Takes a little bit. I'm going to put music on this so there's not an awkward silence on your guys' end while I'm doing this. It's here. It's still really flat sounding. I hope you guys enjoy the music anyway. Um, yeah. You guys want to provide, like I said, an, an even, an even tightness on every lug to provide the best sound your snare drum can possibly get. Now, this is a pearl drum. It's part of my drum set, which you guys have already seen. Some of these may be kind of hard to finger tighten, so I'll show you a way to do it in a second. I've got one more left after this. I'm on the last one first. What you want to do? Get as tight as you can. Then grab the front. Right. So you're gonna grab your drum key, tuning key, whatever you'd like to call it. So 
those are my daughter so far. Let me put the camera down here for a second. Because I cannot find the drum kit. Sorry about this, y'all. What will happen to it? We'll find it. Hands and knees here, guys. And I'm really, really sorry about this. Oh, there it is. It was sitting on me. Okay. So on the floor, let me grab it. There it is. For those of you who don't know, this is the drum key. Okay, back to the video. So to make sure there is even tightness around it, you're just going to do a quarter turn. Whole turn, sorry. One whole turn on each lug. You want the bottom of the lug to be tight with the rim before you start to tighten it up. And this is cool too because when you do even tightness and you got a brand new head, it gives your head a chance to break in a little bit, get all that glue off. Okay, now that we went around one time and did one whole turn to make sure everything's tight, we're going to go and do four quarter turns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna take it over to the drum set and put a dampener on, on the top. Usually you can put a washcloth or a towel or something on the inside to dampen it. I didn't do that this time.
snare drum. A little hard hit. watching this video and if you've learned something please put down in the comments and um, like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you guys shortly with a new video uh, it's going to be a, uh, on my electric train set. It's going to be the pulling power test of the diesel locomotive. So hopefully you guys look forward to that and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks.